Today we're going to be making a few coffee drinks inspired by Valentine's Day. The first recipe we have to start is the pink velvet macchiato and for this you're going to need to make espresso so I just ground up some whole beans and used my mocha pot to make the espresso. I actually never know if I'm doing these right but I just love the art of making coffee in different ways. I think it's so beautiful and so entertaining and such a fun thing to learn. Now that your espresso is made, you put that to the side and let it cool because this is an iced drink. So now you're going to want to heat up one and a half cup of milk, one ounce of cream cheese, half a tablespoon of powdered sugar, which I didn't have, so I recommend actually using it because I used regular sugar, <laughs> um, half a tablespoon of cocoa powder, and then for the pink color, you're going, to, you're going to want to use half a tablespoon of beet powder. And if you don't have that, use pink food coloring, which I also did not have. So I use strawberry syrup to add a pink color. So then you whisk these ingredients over medium heat until it's all combined and then after that you set it aside so that it can cool for this iced coffee drink. The next coffee is the Neapolitan coffee. You're going to want to brew coffee for this and then you open a can of condensed milk and you will need about one fourth cup. I think I use a little more in my mug. Then you pour the sweetened condensed milk into the mug so that you get enough to see a layer when you're looking at it from the side. So now you're going to want to take a mug or a pitcher and put half a cup of coffee in it and one tablespoon of chocolate sauce and you mix that up. The pink foam for this drink is just one fourth cup of milk in a frother and then you add one teaspoon of strawberry or raspberry syrup. I use strawberry. And then you just froth it until it's done. Now you pour in your coffee mixture. And next comes your strawberry pink foam. This is what your Neapolitan coffee drink should look like when you're done making it. If you want to add more coffee or foam or sweetened condensed milk, you can go ahead. But I think it's beautiful. Now that our ingredients are ready and cooled for the pink velvet macchiato, we put ice in a mug and pour in our mixture and then we pour in our coffee. I did taste test both of these and I have to say I liked them both. I think the Neapolitan was a little too sweet for my liking so next time I'm just gonna add more coffee and more of the strawberry foam. And then the pink velvet macchiato was good but next time I'm going to make sure to have powdered sugar for the milk mixture so that it just maybe looks better, the texture's better, and it has a little more of that 
sugar that I really like in coffee. <laughs> show you how cute my mom sets up her coffee station look how adorable this is her valentine valentine's day setup so she put a picture of me andrew her and my dad and becky and my brother so she actually painted this i believe it was her she was an art teacher so makes sense Last year, I taught her how to make these cute little Valentine's Day gnomes, so she put that up, and then, so the cafe, she found it, and in Portuguese, there's the accent on the E, so she put the bird as the accent. And then, these are heart-shaped basil leaves that she found Maybe the bottom one was a basil leaf and the other one she found outside, I'm guessing, because that looks like a leaf. I don't know. But she's just so cute and creative. And I love her so much. And yeah, so. And then down here we have Love You Always and she put the heart around the Valentine's Day 14 and then these adorable mugs. I don't know where she got these, maybe Target because she goes to Target a lot. And then these napkins for Valentine's Day. And my favorite part, I love these. I love this towel. And then this, this is something she found at a thrift store. She didn't like the colors, so she spray painted it white, which is a great idea. Um, but then she thought it was too white, so she kind of sanded down some of the parts to make it look a little antique-ish. But I just think this is so beautiful. I think it's Romeo and Juliet, but I'm not sure. But yeah, so creative.